What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Daily Sean. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Sean. I do a daily video on something related to nursing. No rhyme or reason. Probably not going to change. Thought-provoking question for you. Let's talk about the white coats. The infamous white lab coats. A little bit of a different spin for you. What I'm curious about, and seeing as we're all nurses, okay, okay, most of us are nurses, I'm pretty sure that most of us in the tribe here are in some other healthcare profession outside of being a physician. So this is a curious question for you. What are your thoughts on the long white lab coat being exclusive to only physicians? Currently, if you haven't been in a hospital recently, or haven't worked in a teaching hospital, white lab coats are worn by pretty much every profession in some way, shape, or form. There are some differences, some, some levels of each profession will wear different kinds of lab coats, some will wear the lab coats that only come to the waist, which are usually medical students. Then you have the, the mid-drift lab coats, which are residents or other students. And the long white lab coats are worn by a variety of healthcare professionals, including myself, a nurse practitioner. What do you think about changing the paradigm? What do you think about changing the culture and going back to the way it used to be? That the white lab coat to be only worn by a physician. The short white lab coat for the med students, and then the long white lab coat for the resident and or physician. A little bit of a uh, historical fact there that, you know, physicians have an actual white coat ceremony. It's their way of signifying they've graduated medical school and they're now a physician. And they have their medical degree. It's an important moment in their educational process to go from the short white lab coat to the long white lab coat. And somehow over the past 10 years or so, all of a sudden all the other services are wearing the white lab coat. And there's a good amount of the physician community that uh, would like it to go back to just exclusively to physicians. Now before you go throwing your hands up in the air, here's what I want you to think about is that do you think maybe, just maybe, the long white lab coat being worn by more than just the physician is part of the reason why patients are confused by who's walking into their room? I know we've had the conversation before concerning uniforms, the nursing staff and healthcare professionals, each service, each profession should have their own style and color to signify their service and now the argument out there is that since everybody wears white lab coats that's confusing patients everybody wears them including the phlebotomists phlebotomists wear them educators wear them clinical non-clinical wear them nurses I've seen respiratory therapists I have literally seen every service wear some version of a white lab coat. I wonder if we're perpetuating the confusion. But the first time I put on the white lab coat, it was an it was an experience. Like, what? Yeah. I've made it. So there is some significance to wearing the white lab coat in many professions. Although I will uh, admit that um, uh, I don't really wear the white lab coat anymore. Curious to hear what you have to say about this one. Do you think we're perpetuating the confusion? And do you think that we should go back to having just physicians wear the white lab coats? Yay or nay? Leave your comment down below. Can't wait to hear what you have to say about this one. Your comments are caffeine. Share this with somebody. And as always, check your own pulse first.